Hello again everybody. Can anybody remember who was in my bag? He's, just wait a minute. He's desperate to get out. Can anybody remember his name? I'll give you a little clue. I'll just flop one of his ears out to see if the colour of him will remind you. Can anyone remember? That's right. He's called Rusty. Are you going to come out this time, Rusty? Because you know all the people watching you are going to be friendly there. You don't need to be shy today. We'll just do your bag up. So here's Rusty. And the first thing Rusty wants to say is thank you for all of your pictures because you sent some lovely pictures to him. And he was really pleased. You remember seeing them, don't you? I showed you to them. I showed them to you, Rusty. So he was very pleased. Got very excited. He said, "I think everybody did really well." So that's great. Rusty was pleased. Now then, this weekend, Rusty's been thinking. I wonder what you can anyone have a think? What Rusty might have been thinking about? He's been thinking about the Easter story. And he's got a few things that he wants to show you this time. So, do you want to get the first thing out, Rusty? Oh, it's something that makes Rusty a little bit sad. Shall we have a look and see what it is? Let me see if I can find it. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Okay, there it is. So the first thing Rusty wants you to see that's in his bag is a little wooden cross. Now then, Rusty, why does it make you feel sad? Right, yeah, it makes Rusty remember that on Friday, the Friday that we've just had, it was Good Friday, and that was the day when Christians all over the world remember how Jesus died on the cross. So Rusty had a look at the cross and it reminded him that Jesus died on the cross. And how did that make you feel, Rusty? Hmm? It made him feel very sad because it was a horrible death that Jesus had to, to go through. But do you know, it was part of God's plan. It was what was supposed to happen. And that was because when Jesus was on the cross, all the wrong things that we've ever done, all the wrong things that everybody has ever done, Jesus was on the cross because of all those wrong things. And because of that, we can be forgiven. God will forgive us because Jesus died on the cross for, for you and for me and for everybody that wants to believe in Jesus. So although that was sad, it wasn't the end of the story, was it? It wasn't the end of the Easter story. There's a bit more to come. Yeah? Can Do you remember the next bit? And are you sad about the next bit? No, it's not a sad bit. The Easter story doesn't have a sad ending. It has a happy ending. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to put that down then and I'll see if I can find something else. If you just like to move out the way, Rusty, then I might be able to find it. Oh, is it this one? It's a little stone. Now then, why do you think Rusty has got a little stone in his bag? That's right. The stone reminds Rusty of the tomb where they put Jesus's body. When they took Jesus off the cross, they put him in a little cave or a tomb. And that's where the stone reminds Rusty of the big stone that was rolled in front of the, the opening to the tomb. They put a big stone in because they wanted Jesus's body to stay there, to stay in the tomb. They didn't want anybody to take it out and they didn't want anybody to move it. They wanted it to stay there, so they used a very, very big, heavy stone. Not this one. This is a little light one that Rusty can carry around in his bag. But the w real one that they used was a really big one. And they put the stone in front of the tomb, didn't they? 
They did. They also put a guard in front of the stone so that they had, they knew that the body would be safe because there was a guard looking after it and there was a big stone so no one could get into the tomb. Hmm. But the story, if you remember what happened in the story, Rusty, if I just read a little bit for you from Matthew, verse 28, that you might be able to find in your Bibles or in Mummy's Bi Mummy or Daddy's Bible. It says that the ladies, a group of ladies, went to see the tomb. They went to just, they wanted to just be near, I think, near the tomb. And when they got there, the stone, the big stone that was very heavy, had been rolled away. And the guard had gone. And when the ladies looked inside the tomb, they saw an angel. And I expect they were very frightened. But the angel said to them, Don't be frightened, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen, just as he said that he would do. Come and see the place where he lay. The ladies had a peep in the tomb and they saw where Jesus was and how the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' body was still there. But Jesus wasn't there. Jesus had risen. Jesus had come alive again, just as he said he would. And that's what we remember on Easter Sunday. Today is Easter Sunday and that's the best bit of the story. You've got something else in your bag. Oh, something else in your bag to remind you of the best bit of the story. Is it this? Yes? No, let me let me show everybody first. Don't be silly. It's a little tiny Easter egg. A little tiny Easter egg. So, Rusty, why have you got a little tiny Easter egg? Because you know the eggs. Sometimes little birds and little chicks can hatch out of eggs. Not out of this egg, because this one's made of chocolate, and not out of any eggs that you've got, because they would be made of chocolate, but out of eggs that the birds lay and that the hens lay, you can get little chickens and little birds, can't you? But not this one. This is a chocolate one. So, eggs remind us of new life, and that reminds us that Jesus came alive again. And it reminds us that God has given us new life. When we believe in Jesus and we trust in Jesus, he will give us new life. We can have a special friendship with God and with Jesus because Jesus rose again from the dead and came alive again. Yes. And the next happy bit of the story, when we know all of that, if we have an Easter egg on Easter Sunday, we can eat Easter eggs, can't we? No, no, Rusty, I wasn't there. Oh. Rusty, I haven't taken the paper off yet. Oh, thank you. Now it's all sticky. <laughs> don't really want a sticky egg in my hand. I'll undo the paper for you in a minute. So when you eat your Easter eggs this Easter, you can remember the story of how Jesus died on Good Friday, but then how he came alive again on Easter Sunday. And the eggs, even this really sticky one made of doggy chocolate, special chocolate for dogs, this sticky Easter egg will remind Rusty that Jesus came alive again and he wants to give us new life. Okay. If we say goodbye to everybody, and then I will open this sticky egg and you can eat it. Would that be a good idea? Yes. Okay. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye.